Dr. Anderson, Dr. Shipar, dear colleagues, my topic uh, is uh, uh, pediatric AML is uh, not uh, usual for you. <laughs> Sorry for the delay. Uh, AML with a recurrent uh, fusion transcript, uh, including A21 translocation, uh, 15, 17, and uh, uh, emerging 16, and uh, 9, 11. Uh, these are commonly, used, uh, commonly seen and uh, can be used uh, as a useful target in uh, minimum radio disease assay. Others are uh, 6, 9, and uh, event. Emerging three, and, uh, acute myocardial leukemia with uh, uh, one twenty-two translocation. The cytogenetics and uh, genetic uh, risk uh, classifications of uh, childhood AML is some uh, difference between uh, St. Jude and uh, uh, our population in Taiwan. The right uh, pie is from Taiwan and left uh, from uh, St. Jude. This uh, uh, blue, blue part is uh, 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 indicating uh, 821 translocation. Is, uh, the ratio is uh, uh, 15 to 20, is more in Taiwan. Uh, on the contrary, MLL is uh, 15 in Taiwan, but uh, 20 in the USA. And uh, the emerging 16, quite the same. So some different. These uh, uh, frequencies and uh, distributions of uh, 19 gene mutation and uh, their cooperation in AML, this is uh, from uh, our data uh, published last year on blood. Yes, uh, we can see the most prevalent uh, mutation uh, from the uh, uh, above is a uh, free 3 ITD, 15%. Next is uh, a CKID, is 12%. Uh, they are, uh, the most uh, striking thing as compared to adult is uh, on the below, there's class four, that means uh, uh, epigenetic uh, modifier. It's only 5.6%, uh, so it's uh, quite least as compared to adult. The last uh, row is uh, cytogenetics. Uh, we compare the cytogenetics with uh, the gene mutation. Uh, First, we, we see uh, free 3 ITD is uh, 15 percent. Uh, in those, uh, the, the uh, cytogenetic uh, uh, change is, uh, is normal. Yeah. And uh, second, uh, in uh, CKID, uh, uh, comprised uh, either uh, at 21 or emerging 16. So it's uh, very uh, re remarkable. We compare the uh, prevalence of uh, uh, gene mutation between adult and uh, uh, child. The uh, blue bar is from, uh, from uh, the uh, half a rig is on the uh, ash uh, abstract. The red bar in, uh, in child is our data. We can see that in uh, uh, child AML, the, there are some uh, uh, gene mutations with uh, uh, comparable uh, percentage uh, as uh, adult, like uh, uh, free 3 ITD, free 3 KTD, uh, and RAS, KRAS, uh, uh, CBB alpha, and uh, uh, MT1. Others uh, mutations uh, are these in the uh, child. So one may is, uh, is speculate that uh, in the uh, child uh, AML, they need uh, fewer gene mutations than adult. Recommended uh, uh, molecular test for AML 
where you can uh, from the cytogenetic uh, risk uh, group uh, divide uh, into three. The first is the fair level, 15, uh, 17, at 21, and uh, in budget 16, for the later two, kit is recommended. <coughs> Intermediate group uh, uh, include uh, uh, normal cardiotype, uh, non-random abnormalities uh, that need uh, MPM1, CBB alpha, and free 3 ITD. But in the uh, uh, pediatric uh, ABL, this uh, uh, gene mutation is not so useful as uh, that in uh, adult. As a 911 is controversial, some uh, group uh, class it as uh, favorable. Uh, unfavorable is uh, emerging six, uh, emerging three and uh, six nine translocation, 11 Q23 with other variants and uh, a complex karyotype. Four beta risk classification by MRE is uh, to increase uh, the sensitivity of flow. And uh, second, uh, we can use uh, more molecular technology like uh, the recently developed uh, uh, next generation sequencing. Molecular genetics uh, in uh, pediatric AML, uh, I, we are now uh, uh, mentioned some uh, very recent uh, publications in version 16, uh, it's uh, called uh, fusion uh, protein, defines uh, uh, an aggressive uh, subtype of uh, childhood uh, uh, acute uh, megacardioblastic leukemia. But uh, later found that this uh, fusion transcript is uh, also a novel feature in a cytogenetic uh, normal group. At uh, 16, 16 is rare, it can be uh, can be defined by gene expression signature. Overexpression of GATT1 in uh, acute myocardial leukemia is uh, resistant to chemotherapy. And uh, at a six, at a six uh, translocation, recently published based on an international survey, uh, indicated that the, the prognosis is not so bad as before we think. WT1 mutation is a bad. Uh, factor, and the free 3 ITD and the high uh, BAHLC expression is uh, not good. A uh, high WT1 uh, mRNA expression uh, plus uh, uh, free 3 is not good. High GATA2 not good. Uh, favorable outcome in inference is uh, after intensive chemotherapy can get a good result. Treatment outcome in older with, uh, I mean older is not so older, uh, as you know, yeah. With uh, a, a younger, is a St. Jude study, found that uh, these uh, uh, two groups are similar in outcome, but uh, is there are more toxic days in older. At recent uh, and uh, young adult, uh, COG make some uh, comparison. It's uh, not so uh, remarkably different. Go can indeed, uh, reduce uh, MRE, but uh, other papers say that is uh, as uh, post uh, consolidation therapy cannot uh, prevent uh, re uh, relapse. Correlation of uh, CD33 expression is uh, with uh, uh, Go. Relapse or refractory pediatric AML is uh, still a very painful experience. But uh, recent years, uh, uh, colofarabine uh, uh, containing resin shows some uh, 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 good uh, result. Uh, Sorafenib can be aided or uh, is, uh, has been uh, widely studied uh, alone. Liposoma dosorubicin plus uh, FRAG or liposoma dolorubicin. Uh, sequential MTX. Uh, with uh, L aspartaginase, uh, chlorazurine with uh, topotecan. Based on the uh, St. Jude uh, successful study, they uh, have a uh, risk classification. The low risk uh, comprise, uh, com include uh, at 21 or emerging 16. High risk uh, first is a uh, free 3 ITD, but uh, uh, the 
and, uh, and uh, the, the MRE bed after induction one, and uh, uh, M0, M6, or M7 without uh, uh, 122 uh, uh, translocation. Mild Otis 12 syndrome uh, related or treatment related uh, is bad. Yeah. MRE positive after uh, two cycles of induction is bad. So standard uh, means uh, the others. The after uh, two causes of induction, if uh, the uh, if the MRE still greater or equal to 0.1 percent, or uh, previously classified as a high-risk patient, should should uh, do transplant. The other people can uh, can just uh, uh, give. Uh, chemotherapy three times, uh, three cycles. The results are very good with a uh, survival rate uh, greater than 70% uh, is uh, better than before. As we know, there are uh, several uh, tyrosine kinase inhibitors uh, with free free activity uh, has been uh, actively studied. How to improve the outcome of a pediatric AML? First, uh, is to better cytogenetic uh, genetic uh, classification. We have to do genetic-based uh, classification, and uh, we have to uh, get uh, better MRE results. And the second is uh, better supportive care. Uh, we can use uh, prophylactic uh, antibiotics and. Uh, uh, antifungus is can uh, dramatically decrease uh, or uh, abolish the tox the, the uh, sepsis uh, and uh, new agent like we just uh, mentioned the chlorpyrimidine etc can be useful uh, transplantation and the cellular immune therapy it has been uh, uh, successfully performed in uh, some place like uh, St. Jude or uh, National Singapore University. I'd like to thank all of my uh, co-investigators, uh, especially Dr. Li Yun Shi. She uh, gave us a uh, continuous and uh, very excellent uh, laboratory support. And, uh, uh, children's case, uh, children's uh, Hospital in uh, Chang'an, uh, Mackay Memorial Hospital. It's a very excellent uh, cooperation. And the grand uh, support from uh, Mackay and also from National Science, uh, Science uh, Council. Thank you.